30 pounds. What's your reaction to kind of not getting it? Uh, I mean, it's disappointing for sure. You know, we uh, had high goals and expectations for ourselves, and uh, we feel well short of that. Uh, so it's, it's definitely disappointing that we didn't uh, we didn't do things we we set ourselves out to do. What are the things you guys need to do better or add personnel wise to close the gap and take a big leap forward? Well, one, we all got to be better. I mean, we all have to be better. I have to be better. Um, everybody has to develop, get better. Uh, I don't think we're we're good enough right now. I mean, that's just a testament to who we are. We all have to be better. It's not just one thing, not one area. Uh, it's a lot, you know. We have to. We all have to be better. Michael Jordan lifting weights. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't seen a white guy. I don't know. I don't know if I have. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now they're Yeah, I mean, we still have to really dive into that. I still don't think we played a handful of games still. Um, it was two-year span, you know, so there's still a lot to explore there. I think um, definitely seeing Kuz's ascension into who he is, you know, I think that'll be, um, you know, exciting to see. And then KP, obviously, being able to put together a whole healthy year, you know, and be super efficient like he was for us, too. I think that's plays a key role. And then I have to be better. You know, I have to be more available, um, take care of my body better, and, and we all do. I think we all have some knickknacks and missed a lot of missed a few games here and there, and it just never were able to create that synergy, you know, consistently. So, um, you know, I'm excited to see that we all we all feel like we can get better, and I, I think that's what I love about our group. Nobody feels like, you know, I had the perfect season. You know, no, everybody feels like, you know, it was a failure in some ways, and we just gotta we gotta put our hard hats back on and develop and get better. And it's, you know, it starts now. Yeah, no, it's not. I mean, people are going to, you're entitled to your opinion. I mean, it's, it's what it is. I can't control that. I can just go out and control what I can control, and that's me doing my job on a nightly basis as best as I possibly can. You know, I set out to do, be the best version of myself and the best player I can possibly be on the nightly. You know, just like I'm pretty sure everybody goes out and does their job the best way they can. So I do the same. With 35 combined games, you playing with Kuz and KP, what was it during those moments that you liked most and that you want to see more of next year? Oh, uh, one, our aggression. Uh, and I think just our leadership, just continuing to grow, you know, understanding that, you know, the team follows everything we do from, from body language to engagement to, you know, how we're playing, you know, and, and that that's a direct reflection of, you know, what, we're, what we three are able to do and, uh, the type of impact we're able to have and the impact we're able to have on our team, you know. So uh, I think just, just our constant growth, man, like we said, we only had a handful of games together. So just constantly growing, being better, um, understanding, you know, where we like our spots and developing with Wes and uh, his system and, you know, just trying to figure out, you know, the best way to make it mesh better than what it has. And speaking of meshing, uh, Monte Morris said that at the beginning of the year, you guys are both, Trying to feel each other out. You had uh, your birthdays are a day apart or something, mm -hmm. but you guys are towards the end of the year. Really created some good chemistry. What was that relationship like with Monte as the year unfolded? That's been great. You know, it's just it's like that with everybody. But Tay in particular, uh, ever since he got here, he's he's wanted to feel you know welcome, and he's kind of looked at me to give him like that stamp of approval to go out and be himself, and you know. Uh, you know, showcase that he can help us. And I'm always an advocate for that. You know, I'm never going to hold anybody back. I'm always going to uplift guys and push them to be the best they can be. And ultimate goal is for everybody to get paid. The ultimate goal is for everybody to, you know, have some success or reach whatever goal it is that you have. And um, and he's just another guy in that category. You know, he was in a good situation in Denver. Feels like they kind of gave up on him and, and moved him. And, 
you know, now he's in a new situation where he can kind of reshine again and, and develop that, that confidence back. And I just try to push that. You know, he's an awesome player. He's a good player in our league. Uh, he'll be around for a long, long time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a little bit more developing, ongoing um, nastiness in the last few years with, with the sports gambling stuff. I mean, granted, I understand. Like, I go to casinos, you know, I gamble. I understand that. But I also understand it's probably a 99% chance I'm going to lose all this shit, you know. So I'm not I'm not sitting here about to, you know, get angry at the dealer, angry at everybody else. But, you know, I, I get it. I get the sports world. Like, everybody, you know, you want to win. Nobody wants to lose money. I get it. You know, if you keep it about sports, I'm all for it. But I think it's when people start getting personal, talking about your family, um, talking about your character, your integrity towards the game. You know, I think all of that, you know, we can save it. You know, we can really keep those comments to ourselves. But uh, if you want to talk about our game and us sucking at night, that's cool. I mean, that's that's part of being a fan. But um, all the other extras can – I think that's a little unnecessary. Uh, I mean, I don't really, I can't really say too much on it because it's, you know, it's still ongoing. But, I mean, it's it, it's fans, it's interactions. I don't have any problems with, with fans and what they say and how they interact. It's just don't get disrespectful and say things you probably wouldn't say to me if I was just walking down the street. And that's it. That's all. There's nothing more than that. I don't know. I praise them every day, but you're right. You're right. Uh, yeah, I just a little bit more. Question for you. Even though the season didn't go out you wanted it, Told me one positive that you liked uh, personally from the year this year. Uh, my efficiency. I was really, I was really proud of that and happy with that. You know, um, being able to kind of change. I won't say change my game, but you know, kind of develop other areas of my game and facilitating and um, just more or less kind of. I don't want to say playing point guard, but just kind of developing a new lens. You know, this year, um, picking and choosing spots. Definitely wish I would have shot more threes, but I think just efficient, being more efficient, you know, from the field, I was definitely proud of that for sure. And I know you don't know my way personally, but just as covering Goody, 22 career high, uh, what was your thoughts on his game last night? I wanted him to get 30, but he, he fell he was a little short of that. But I was happy for him. I'm always proud of good. I'm always challenging him, you know, pushing him to be better. Uh, but to see where he is, I was talking to, I was actually talking to Monte about this the other day. Like, to see where he is, man, I would have, I never would have dreamt that or imagined that for good. You know, and good's a football player. He is a really good football player. Um, and just to see his development, his mindset, he's always had a dog mentality, but it just speaks volumes to see where he is now, man. Like, and then to be our, be my teammate, like, that's, full circle. it's nothing better. Yeah, it just comes full circle for me, man. And one makes me feel a little old, but. You know, it's it's definitely promising for me. You know, it motivates me to keep keep going too. Appreciate it. What do you think your, your kind of new conversion? Yeah, we need to get away from that range. We 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 need to be better. Like, and we all know we can be better. We had goals and expectations to be better. We just, we can't keep talking about it. We just gotta we have to do it you know we gotta be better on the floor you know i gotta be better have to lead better play better be more available and you know we all have to get better this off season and do whatever it takes to to do so you know understand that we get to do this job we don't have to do this job you know yeah so i would say it was I don't make excuses, but I haven't had the same workout routine over the last few years. Um, it's been, especially in the summer, I had a broken, I mean, I had not broken wrist, but wrist surgery last year, so I couldn't lift a weight at all last summer. So that, that played a factor into my uh, summer routine. And the year before, uh, somewhat the same thing with the hamstring injury after the playoffs, and they kind of lingered into the summer. So I didn't really have a full summer to really get my work in and then USA with COVID and all that. So it was a, it's a weird little few little off seasons I had. Now, ironically, I can really go headstrong into a season and get back to my off season workout routine that I, I'm used to. Thank you.
So you're just saying I'm leaving? No, no, I'm just saying, like, you think about it. Are you always like, no? I got in my back pocket, and I can use it to work at something. No, I don't use it as, like, a trump card, no. It's like, it's like me constantly reminding my wife I'm the money maker. Like, that's a trump card you never want to throw in a woman's face. So, I'm, I'm never going to. That's an unnecessary thing for me to do. And, you know, Chef, we don't get better. I'm going to, like, you know, that's, that's not me. That's beneath me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely frustrated. You know, I'm also um, at peace with where I am and who we are and what we need to do to be better. It's nothing I can do. I can't control it. I'm not going to sit here and cuss everybody out. And, you know, like, we know where we failed and how we have to be better. And, you know, we, we have to do so. You know, there's... It's never one time where I'm like, you know what, I'm out of here, you know. But I very well could, like you said, because I do have, you know, traded. But I don't, I don't use it as a, as a trump. No. You mentioned the efficiency and how the product you want to draw is improvement and automation and other different ways. Um, is that stuff from uh, working with the data, data analytics team or the consulting staff? Oh, I mean, I've always considered myself an efficient player, but this year was, I mean, I shot over 50% from the field, so it wasn't, that was, that's definitely different, you know, and it has a lot to do with the system, um, how teams guard me, how teams, you know, if, you know, what shots I have available, um, shots I shoot a game, like it's all, all of that plays a factor. Just me being, you know, a little bit more decisive and picking spots and um, understanding, you know, getting teammates going and trying to free the game up for me for a little bit. And, you know, I can open up spots and uh, shots for myself. But uh, I think just the overall game and just being able to facilitate is, is kind of prep my game for the efficient year that I had for sure. And then having guys like KP and Kuz who would ascend into who they, you know, what they did this year, I think helps too. To that point, um, Wes was talking about how the team was top 10 in paint threes and getting 10 fills down and then taking it out for those. But you didn't have a high volume of those right. shots that you took. How can you get that to be a better statistic in terms of taking more high volume shots of? Those paint you know, that's what we have to be better at. You know, that's I think that's something we have to develop in all season is being able to break down, you know, our defender, get in the paint and be able to do so. Whether you're creating for yourself or creating for the next man. You know, I think it's we were a little bit limited in that at, at times. Sometimes we get boggled up, sometimes we get rely too much on one on one, whether it's me or KP and um, you know, teams are able to kind of see through that and you know, when we're able to get in the paint and make teams rotate like Sometimes we rotate on defense, you know, it makes it tough on them to, to guard us, you know, especially with our shooting and our versatility. So I think it's, it's just development. You know, we have to be better at uh, just understanding how to get in the paint, how to break down our guys, whether it's one on one or pick and rolls. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm at peace with how the year went. I'm not at okay. peace with how we are as a team. Okay, so that was, that's what I was discussing. Yeah. Where's your patience level as you... It's low. For sure. Yeah. I have a little patience level. That's why I'm like, it's, it's not like I'm not angry. I'm definitely, I'm definitely disappointed, but I'm not going to sit up here and show that. Like, I'm frustrated. I'm angry. But I express that to the necessary voices and people who, who need to hear it, for sure. I can't foresee the future, but yeah. God will. Well, if we don't, you know, I might wake up one day and they might not want you, boy. You know, you got to make a decision. So, you never know. Don't say that. Hey, man, the way y'all talking, y'all like, y'all trying to kick me out of here. So, hey, listen, you don't want to be out of town. Y'all got to go talk to, talk to the head honchos. No, I'm kidding. Are 
Uh, I mean, somewhat, but not necessarily too, too different. I mean, I don't make the decisions. And I think that's what I want everybody to kind of understand here is I don't, I don't run the team. Um, my name isn't Tommy Shepard. My name isn't Ted Leonsis. I don't run the team. I don't make the decisions. I go out and try to hoop and lead the best way I possibly can. And if my opinion is asked of something, I give it and I voice it. But I don't pick and choose who's on the team. I don't pick and choose who coaches the team. I don't pick and choose any of that. I come out and do my job. We've, I haven't had my exit talk with him yet, but uh, we've, we've talked throughout the year and just, it's a constant evolution for him and for I, for myself. Like he's developing into a pure head coach in this league, you know, and it's, it's a constant development for him. He's still, I don't want to say fresh and new, but you know, he's still learning on the fly a little bit. And so, you know, we're, we're doing our absolute best to try to encourage him to make it as swift and easy for him as possible, but he's, I mean, he's dealt with adversity just like we have, you know, throughout the year. And I think he's handled it very well because, uh, you know, his crown is heavy just like mine. You know, there's a lot of pressure on him just as well as it is on me and everybody else. And so I think he's handled it well. Um, he does his best to try to get the best out of his players and voices that. And we just got to continue to, you know, support him and in, uh, in, in his message and the way he wants us to play. Brad, can you share some of the fights? Oh, mm-hmm. like, I mean, the ability for us to be able to show that we can win and beat tough teams and, you know, and showcase we can win consistently, win and, you know, win 17 and 10, whatever it was before All-Star. Like, it's we've shown we can win games. You know, I think it's – that's the beauty of it. You know, we've we, we shown we can be consistent. We've shown we can win. We've shown those stretches of – games and moments where guys played really well and we put some stuff together and it's like, okay, this team is going to click. And then we kind of revert back to old habits and and uh, and go the other way. But, you know, I think just from just a few positives this year, just uh, how the young guys develop, you know, how they continue to stay engaged. Denny uh, having a good year. Corey having a – I think Corey had an awesome year. Um, and just learning the game, uh, happy for good. Uh, and just constant development. I think, obviously, we still have to be better. We still have to grow in that area, but I'm definitely proud of the young guys and how they learn and how they take advantage of the opportunities when it's given. Uh, but another part, I mean, just consistently, when we put it all together and when we're healthy, I think that was promising to see. But it's got to be more of it. John, you said his goal is to be part of the rotation this year, and I know that goal is impressive. Mm-hmm. What would you advise Work on the offseason. Oh, that's always tough. You guys know me. I'm always, I always say everything. We always got to work on everything. Nobody's perfect in what we do. But I think uh, one thing I'm proud of Johnny at the end of the year is he, he was having fun. He was having more fun with it. He was confident, and you can see that. You know, I think initially it was kind of a little bit of a whirlwind and a little fast for him. But I think, honestly, being in a G helped him too. Because guys in the G are hungry, and they're going to force you to more or less kind of, you know, you know, either you're going to be ready or I'm going to take it from you. And I think it just comes down to that, you know, just playing. Like, I think the more he plays, the more he's able to just be thrown in the fire, the more confident you gain, the more confidence you gain, and the more you're able to pay attention to, okay, this is what I really need to develop and work on. You know, he's, you can see he's really confident in shooting mid ranges. You know, he's getting to his floaters, getting to one, two, three, little pull ups. Uh, and so, obviously, being more consistent with that, being better off the dribble, uh, catching and shooting better, uh, a little bit quicker, and everything. You know, he's a really good defender. You know, so I, that's what I really love about him. He's a willing defender, and he's he's really good at it. Uh, but everything, everything, everything needs work. Everything needs work. But he's he has a good base basis to go off of this summer. How do you guys? Of 
Oh, uh, availability for one. I know we keep preaching that, y'all, but we, we do have to be healthy for that to look good. I mean, that's, we have to be honest on that. Uh, but other than that, man, we, I think it's there. We just gotta we just gotta lock into our system and being better, being consistent. You know, we we're all three individually talented. You know, but we have to make our teammates better. We gotta make each other better. We gotta push each other, hold each other accountable. A lot of stuff we could be better at. Like, I'm always going. Better is going to be my word for the day. Like, because the difference is clearly the underachieved. You know, it's the only way to. On the other side of that is to be better, and so that's pretty much all I can say to that man. Like, we we just got to continue work on our game. Uh, you know, trust West, trust our system, trust each other, and and get it done. You know, we can sit here and talk about it and preach about it and predict and foresee all we want, but. Unless we go do it, I don't mean shit. Brandon, I think everybody in this room is a little included in the intentional marketing of these meetings that the coaches really propose. And uh, maybe the worst thing that we can do is just come out of this room misinterpreting how your team thinks. Mm -hmm. Like, So is there anything you want to clarify or add to what you want for your future here in Costa Rica and what you see going forward and all that? Is there something I should have clarified earlier? No, you you misinterpret it. I want to make sure I don't. Do you just want to stay? Hey, hey. Uh, um, um, that's kind of a weird question, Josh. Because I'm here. I want to leave. You guys, you guys, we're here and know that Bill wants to leave. 